Next students, let's look at lean manufacturing, lean production, lean enterprise. What is this? What does lean mean? That you create value, creation of value. For whom? For the end customer. Any expenditure, any activity, any process, any movement which does not create value for the customer is considered waste and should be eliminated. Lean manufacturing in its original form was actually introduced in Toyota in Japan. Let us understand this story. Taichi Ohno was a Japanese engineer and businessman. When he took up a job in Toyota, he was given a brief, that is, this was around after World War II, that Toyota's production was way behind that of Detroit in USA, and he was asked to improve its productivity and match it to that of Detroit's. Taichi Ono visited the US, and on one of his visits, he noticed, <clears throat> when he went to a supermarket, that Whatever was consumed, whatever was taken out of the store was immediately also replaced. This was behind his mind when he introduced what was called the Toyota production system in Toyota. He decided that instead of having large manufacturing, he would produce exactly what was required. All patiently, he began to eliminate waste from everywhere, from all processes, from all movements, all activities. Over the years, he introduced what was called the Toyota production system and today is used, known all over the world in different forms and is largely known as lean manufacturing. <clears throat> The core behind this is to minimize waste and maximize customer value. Value to the customer. What is value to customer? What the customer is willing to pay. Anything which the customer is not willing to pay is waste and if possible, it should be eliminated. So lean manufacturing is a systematic method for waste minimization which is called MUDA, that is wastefulness in Japan. Basically, in Toyota they had the three M's called the MUDA, the MURI and the MURA. <coughs> the MUDA is the wastefulness in Japanese and usually, though not always, usually is caused either by MURI or by MURA. That is reduce waste that is from overburden off because of the unevenness in the workloads. <laughs> so lean manufacturing concentrates entirely on a systematic reduction of waste. <clears throat> Do not reduce productivity but add value. Value is what any process, any action that a customer is willing to pay for. Value is defined from the point of view of the customer. <clears throat> this is how Muda, Muri and Mura could be represented. <coughs> this is how Toyota defined it. And, and an example taken from Lean Bay would be as below. Suppose you had, suppose you had six uh, tons to be processed. Okay, six tons are to be processed and the machine capacity was was only three tons. Suppose you loaded the machine, suppose you loaded the machine with six tons, it would be overburdening. Whether overburdening may be overburdening of the machine or the person, physically overburdening or mental overburdening. Mind you, these principles are now not only used in manufacturing, but they are used in a lot of other processes also. <clears throat> In the service industry, in all other industries also, it is used. So, if so, this is a question of uh, this is an example of overburden when six tons are piled on, processed all together. This would ultimately result in maybe the mission failure, the collapse of the people, 
etc so 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 actually the customer uh, he is not paying for your overburdening of the machine at least the customer does not want to pay the customer wants the end product product how you do it the customer does not mind by overburdening the machine and incurring additional cost you are not adding a value the customer does not perceive or see any value in that <clears throat> suppose in to process the 6 tons you were to take 4 tons and 2 tons then again that would create unevenness because first the 4 tons would be processed <clears throat> process for four, for processing 4 tons if you need 4 people next time it's only 2 tons and there would be only 2 people and <clears throat> two people required two people may have to stay idle and this is a rough explanation students both these overburdening and unevenness would result in wastage on the other hand suppose you were to process two tons two tons two tons though there is there is uniformity therefore there is no mura there is no unevenness there, there is no overburdening because the machine has a capacity of 3 ton still it results in waste there is still mura here the best way of course would be to have 3 tons 3 <coughs> plus 3 tons would be the best way of processing it so that there is no mura there is no muri and there is no mura so waste what is waste anything that does not add value anything above the minimum amount of material labor equipment or working time would be waste throughput what is throughput students the rate at which materials are converted into sales is supposed to be throughput you can increase the rate of production by reducing wastage all this will finally result in cost reduction <clears throat> now the five principles of lean management is the first and foremost identify value what do you mean by value what do you understand by value value i repeat is from the point of view of customer and what do you mean by value from the point of view of customer what the customer is willing to pay for that is the value to the customer <clears throat> what does the customer need very important to understand what the customer's need is what he needs how does he need when does he need what is his requirement what are the activities that you do that actually add value so value for the customer and what are the other other cost other activities other processes which actually have no value for the customer the value stream what do you mean by the value stream the value stream <coughs> is the set of activities required to deliver the product to the customer so the entire stream of activities <coughs> from the supplier to the customer from supplier to customer all the activities that's the entire value stream which consists of several activities the idea is to remove the non value added activities we will discuss this concept of value engineering in our next sub module <coughs> sub module where where every process is actually analyzed and seen and and seen for activities which are non value adding and if they can be removed so by reducing non value removing non value added activities we can slowly eliminate waste <coughs> yes there is so much so in fact in lean manufacturing they actually suggest a kind of collaboration between the supplier and the customer so that waste can be completely eliminated everybody in the process understands what is value and works towards creating this next comes the flow there should be smooth flow without interruptions it is not that you rush and do one work next you wait for a long time there should be no bottleneck once it is in flow once a uh, material has entered the process it should smoothly flow through till it reaches the consumer unnecessary pile up of inventories is not encouraged it's a waste the customer does not pay for you to hold inventories the customer is not interested but holding of inventories there is a cost for us <coughs> there is a cost for us 
So the raw materials, the components, the sub assemblies should not stop in process. There should be complete synchronization. <coughs> Production is based on customer demand. It's called pull, not the push factor. Initially, previously, manufacturing processes tended to manufacture first based on their huge machines. The, the optimum capacity of the machine was utilized. Goods were manufactured and then they were pushed to the customer. But lean management suggests pull. What is this pull structure of supply? <clears throat> pull structure of supply chain management would be that the, the customer's demand will determine how the supply chain will work. <clears throat> so goods are, inventories, goods are not made before. They are made only when the customer asks for it, only when the customer orders for it. So each step in the value chain, remind you, having done that each step in the value chain must know what is needed to be done on a particular day? Yes or no? <coughs> so that smooth flow also needs to be arranged. But it's a customer token. Only when the customer demands, only then we will make. Therefore, there would be no inventories. It is minimized. And final is the beautiful quality of what is called Kaizen, which again we will we will discuss in the next subtitle. This is nothing but continuous improvement. Perfection is the aim. Perfection is the thing. So continuously improve. Do not stagnate. Each time you improve, make one more thing better. Kaizen is a concept of continuous improvement. So the five principles of lean management are first to identify the value. What is the value stream or the flow of activities? The activities in the... Uh, <coughs> creation of the value, there should be a smooth flow of these activities and processes. It is based on the pull concept where the customer demand determines what is to be produced, not the push where you first produce and then try to sell it to the customer. And there is always continuous improvement, <coughs> the principle of rising. What are the benefits of lean manufacturing students? <clears throat> First, there is increased process understanding. So when you when you introduce lean manufacturing, you have to thoroughly understand the process, arrange the flow, flow. So once once the complete understanding is there, understanding is there, the flow can be thought of and created so that there is less process waste. Because the concept follows the pull system. We based on customer demand. There is no need to stock inventory. We do not make beforehand. With 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 lower levels of inventory, of course, the amount of storage space required is less. Next, rework. We never uh, we try lean manufacturing. One of the other things they do is not no reworking because rework uh, does not really have any value to the customer. Rework results in some more cause, more time. <clears throat> yes or no? Now, if the customer does not want to know, because you rework, because there is a defect in rework, customer is not willing to pay more. There is no value for rework. So, we reduce rework and we work from the point of view of the customer. Our idea is to satisfy the customer, enhance value for the customer. We need to understand the customer. And it should result in a greater customer satisfaction. Also, we have committed multi-skilled employees. You understand that previously we had huge machines, one person, two people, three people trained to run that machine, worked on that machine itself. But now it is not like that. It's a lean manufacturing so that uh, so that everybody on the chain knows what is to be made. They are <coughs> multi-skilled and can move from one process to the other. So a hand, they lend a hand throughout. Everybody feels feels responsible and committed to the delivery to, to the particular customer. <coughs> and of course, all this 
with lower investments in inventory, less storage space, less rework, better process understanding, basic principle being avoidance of waste, it has to result in financial savings, must result in financial savings.